ship travels 100 km kilometers at a bearing of uh, north 60 degree uh, east and then turns and travels 80 degree at a bearing of south 20 degrees east before reaching its destination. Suppose this trip travels exactly uh, directly from its starting to the destination following a direct route. So what is the distance and what bearing should this ship take? Okay. Uh, so the bearing is 60 degree east of north. So north is over here. And let's say this is the starting point and east is definitely over on this side. So 60 degree east of north means like this. So it travels from A to B at uh, uh, 400 kilometers at 60 degrees. And now it travels 80 kilometers at a bearing of 20 degree east of south. This is this is south and 20 degree east is towards this direction. So this is 20 degree and this travels for 80 kilometers to reach C. Uh, now we have, uh, we, they are, it is given that the starting and the end point are definitely A and C. So if it takes its direct route, so what is the distance of AC and the bearing of AC as in if we can get this angle. So uh, let's see, uh, we are given 100 kilometers as it's already written. This is 100 kilometers, this is 80 kilometers and uh, this is already given at 60. So by the way, uh, look carefully that these two sides are parallel and this is a transverse. So definitely this angle will also be 60 degrees because they are alternate interior angles. So that's what I'm going to mark over here that this angle is also going to be alpha. Uh, this alpha is also going to be 60 degrees because of the alternate interior angles. Okay. Uh, so now uh, let's see I think law of cosines would be extremely helpful in this case because notice carefully there's a triangle over here and in fact let me just draw another uh, let me ju just draw the same triangle here exclusively so that it's easier for us to analyze uh, this is where we have a this is where C this is this B and alpha is already 60 60 plus 20 is 80 and this is 100 and this is 80 so if we apply let's say this is x which we have to find so if we apply law of cosines law of cosines uh, cos of 80 degrees is going to be the sum of the square of the edges inside so 100 square plus 80 square minus opposite side square x square over 2 times 100 times 80 so if we cross multiply then 2 times 100 times 80 is going to be uh, times cos of 80 degree is going to be uh, 100 square plus 80 square so 100 square plus 80 square is 16400 minus x square so if we rearrange this x square is going to be 16400 minus 2 times let's uh, let's find this expression in the calculator so that's 200 times 80 which is 16000 16 16,000 cos of 80 degree and finally we take square root both sides to get the value of x and let's say up to two decimal places we are interested so 16400 minus this value and the square root of this value comes out as 116 116.71 kilometers up to two decimal places so this is the direct distance and for the angle, uh, let's use law of cosines and we, we uh, let's find this angle beta and this angle beta I mean. Uh, so if you want to cal if you want to find uh, the angle beta, I'm going to use law of sines over here. So in law of sines, this is one opposite pair which I'm going to take uh, because the beta is unknown. So 80 over sine of beta is going to be this opposite pair in which we know everything. So x over x is 116.71 over sine of 80 degrees. So uh, if you cross multiply, then we have 80 sine of 80 degrees over 116.71 is equal to sine of beta degrees. Uh, and if you take sine inverse both sides, then the value of beta comes out as, let me just grab my calculator. Uh, and remember that your uh, calculator should be in 
a degree mode because if we take sine inverse the answer should be given in degrees so that is coming as 42.46 degrees uh, by the way we are not really interested in beta but we are interested in the bearing so from the north the total angle is going to be 60 plus beta which is its bearing so we will answer that bearing is uh, 60 plus beta uh, which is nothing but 102.46 102.46 degrees and this is east uh, this is uh, uh, this is east of north so it is written as north 102.46 degrees east thank you